Hey, what's up guys? Dunked here, and today we have another video here on Hypixel the Pit. And today we're going to be discussing what to do when you're just starting out. So today I am on my alt. Uh, it's actually my sister's account, so say hi to my sister. Uh, she, she's not actually here right now, but you know, this is my sister's account. Uh, and yeah, we're pretty much brand new. We're only level 23. Uh, I was like level 15, but I answered one of those calculations in chat and well that got me like eight levels because 250 xp levels you up a lot in the beginning uh so yeah pro tip guys do the the little calculations in chat where it's like 11 times 10 you type it out and uh easy like five eight levels for your first uh when you're first starting out so it's not too bad in the beginning <laughs> anyways that's besides the point. I wanted to talk to y'all about what you should do when you first start out on the server. So basically when you first start out, you're going to have literally nothing. You can't even purchase a perk. Now we can purchase one perk. When you first start out, you're only gonna have access to these 16 perks right here. Uh, there are quite a few of them. We'll go over them later on, maybe in this video, probably not. Uh, this might just be more of a really basic video. But for the most part, your very first perk you're going to want to buy is Golden Heads right here. Because this is going to allow you to actually heal out in the PvP zone without having to eat a Golden Apple. You can just swipe your Golden Head and it also gives you Speed 1. Now, after you do get this, the next perk you're going to want to get is Strength Chaining. But you don't want to do that until you're level 35 because that's when you can actually use a second perk. There's no point in having two perks when... You can't even use them. Not to mention it's 2,000 gold, so you're going to have to save up quite a bit there. Now, when you're first starting out, a pro tip, guys, is to come over here to the quest master and accept the daily quests and weekly quests right here. When you complete the weekly quest, you get 10,000 pit gold, which is going to help you out a lot. Also gives you some nice high pixel experience. And then your daily quests of kill 25 players and complete a contract also can help out all on their own. Now you can't do contracts here until you're level 30, which we're not too far off. Maybe we'll do one of those here today. The novice contracts are usually pretty easy, but they're quite a bit cheaper than the big time contracts. So you probably should go with a novice before using a big time anyway, uh, just to know what they are. Oh, uh, we've been kicked for an activity. Nice. <laughs> uh, that's kind of weird. That's kind of really weird because we just were, we were moving not long ago. That, that's weird. Whatever. All right. So here's the big time contracts and now guys the main thing is though when you first start out is to actually just play so basically you're just going to keep jumping down over and over again and try to kill as many people as you possibly can. You don't even have to jitter really. Uh, I mean it can definitely help you out that's why I jitter uh, but it's definitely not required so don't feel like you have to be able to jitter to play the pit you definitely can play the pit and not be able to jitter and still be fairly successful. Because, I mean, jittering, it helps out a lot when you're PvPing, but it's definitely not the most important thing. Aim is a lot more important. If you can't aim while jittering, well, there's no point in jittering because then you're not even going to hit your opponent. So, anyways, <laughs> anyways, guys. So, this is what we're doing. We're, we're kind of just running around killing people, and that's pretty much what the pit is. Uh, if you haven't played before, you pretty much just run around killing people and the higher up you can get you can purchase diamond armor and you can get these cool custom enchants that are, make you much harder to kill and give you cool effects and stuff but of course we're just starting out here so we want to keep that down on the down low and focus on all the basic stuff because you can't unlock that right when you first start out but when you do unlock it you're going to be unlocking it after you're prestiging so you do have to get to level 120 first to prestige now, of course, you can't actually, to actually enchant, like, leggings, there's leather leggings. I'm sure I can find someone with leather leggings. Uh, that guy. See, that guy has leather leggings on over there. What you can do with leather leggings is you can get custom enchants on them that allow you to do things like heal yourself or have extra hearts or there's a ton of them, guys. So I'm going to go through all of them right now. But basically, there's a ton of cool stuff that you can unlock by playing further and further into the server. Now, the other thing is, as I said before, there's 16 perks right here. Basically, you can get to about a double chest right here. Uh, you can unlock, I think, at least another two rows, possibly three more rows here. 
of perks that you unlock from the renowned shop which you get after you prestige if you want to check that out you can check out one of my prestige videos uh should be fe featuring some of those there or uh when i feature my renowned shop in one of my older videos as well holy well guys that's how to do a tdm uh easy 1000 xp and 4000 gold i got ranked fifth with no perks besides golden heads and no helmet nice this is easy boys easy all y'all gotta do is click okay just click all right guys so after that major event if you all didn't know what a major event is that's what one is that's called tdm there's multiple other major events uh they're all pretty fun except lottery um because lottery is pretty much completely random it requires no skill besides being able to not die quickly to be able to get your 35 tickets uh and the more tickets you have technically you have a higher chance of winning but really it's not that much higher because everyone gets at least 10 tickets and if you get 30 in then yeah anyways <laughs> the point is uh lottery's not that fun but all the other ones uh are pretty fun to play uh and yeah i really enjoy those major events there's also these things called minor events what they are are like they're basically mine <laughs> basically major events but minor uh so like there will be like what you call king of the hill so there'll be like a little diamond area in a certain part of the map it'll announce it in chat if you go there and kill people while on that diamond area you're gonna get four times xp and four times gold for all the kills on that area then there's also two times xp and two times gold for killing people in a certain area like so there's like the four times cough which is like a small area and then the two times is like a whole biome so like this whole mountain area here would be two times and then or like the whole area over there basically one corner of the map would be two times for a certain amount of time and all the kills you get in there will be two times so if y'all do want to level up faster that's a really good way and uh, i just thought i'd mention that right now now since we did get so much more money from the major event right there with the tdm we're gonna go ahead and actually purchase ourselves our second perk now as you can see we actually do get to see the multiple options that we are afforded now that we have leveled up to 43 uh your last one is going to be unlocked at 60 so you're gonna be able to buy all of the basic perks at level 60 so that's pretty nice we're not too far off of there uh so we'll figure out what these are soon uh one of these is streaker which is basically a perk the longer you go without dying and the more kills you get the more xp you're gonna gain so the faster you're gonna level up uh yeah uh it isn't always worth it for your very first like prestige where you just started out i wouldn't really suggest using it even when you're level 60 just because it's really hard to go on a meaningful streak at that point so i'd rather have uh, another perk out here as you can see there's fishing rods these aren't really that good lava buckets would not suggest using that strength chaining probably the best thing here that you can buy there's also a perk called vampire that you're going to unlock which is an alternative to golden heads the thing is you won't be able to get speed so i'd say golden heads is probably better for your very first life and also just to keep jumping down with golden heads and strength chaining and then once you get to level 70 you can actually use a third perk as you see once we got to 35 we can use our second perk so we're going to go ahead and buy strength chaining once we get to 70 we can use a third so we could use safety first we can buy any of these for as you can see 3000 gold 4000 gold so you do have to go ahead and buy these to use them for once you want to have a third perk but they are very nice to have a third perk so i'm probably either going to use safety first or uh maybe even lucky diamond for my third perk later on in the prestige uh but yeah now also guys i forgot to mention that there are these permanent upgrades well quote unquote permanent they they stay around for the entire prestige so prestiges work like basically any other prestige system so once you get to level 120 every time you, every time you prestige you're going to get to like what once you get to 120 here you can go over to the prestige guy over here and it will give you an option to prestige if you watch one of my prestige videos you'll be able to see what that's like and basically when you do that you're gonna get be given renown 
Once you get to Prestige 1, you can actually start gaining renown from major events by placing in the top 3. So by placing in the top 3 in any of the major events, you're going to be getting yourself 2 renown. If you place in the top 20, you're going to get yourself 1 renown, and I think that's... It. Oh, besides Lottery. Lottery is you get 1 renown as long as you just basically turn in 35 tickets, so you can't even get 2 renown with Lottery. That's also why I don't like it as much. Oh, uh, but as I said, permanent upgrades. So this is like for one prestige, uh, you do have to purchase them again in later prestiges. So since we do have quite a bit of money from our quests, uh, they helped out a lot along with the major event. Uh, so we actually haven't done this one yet because we need to complete a contract. Let's go ahead and start a contract. Let's see. So we got eat gold, six golden apples, land 35 arrow shots, or kill a player with a diamond sword killing blow. We're going to go ahead and go with the Diamond Sword Killing Blow because that one's actually really easy. And also because I want to show y'all this non-permanent item shop here. This is where you can buy diamond armor. I really wouldn't suggest buying it for your very first life unless you just have extra money. Because really, it's not worth it until... Honestly, diamond armor is not always worth it. Uh, unless you really want to try to go on long streaks of like more than 40 kills. Then possibly it is worth it because then you'll get your money back the 800 gold it costs to go diamond armor and then another 150 for a diamond sword but anyways we're gonna go and buy a, a diamond sword and these also have like a little special bonus damage to them with an increase of 20 percent damage versus bountied players you do lose these swords on death though just like all the items in here so you don't like just keep to have the diamond armor forever uh but you can also buy obsidian uh for it's only 50 gold but obsidian's not as useful. It's kind of just for like building uh, little traps and little areas to PP people in, as you can see right there. And uh, it can actually, I guess, make the game a little bit interesting. Uh, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump down and get our one kill with our... Dumb oh, that, that was fast. We just had to swing once. <laughs> Wasn't even trying to kill someone. Uh, hopefully, let's try to live a little bit. Uh, we did have to put 150 gold in for the diamond sword. But we do get the 500 gold reward for completing the contract, so we get all that money back. And rip, <laughs> we're already dead because, well, Iron Armor doesn't actually protect you that much, guys. <laughs> Anyways, I guess the main purpose of this video is to tell you all that, basically, the first prestige is not very hard. Uh, the main thing you have to do is just keep jumping down, keep fighting people, and just enjoy the game. Just chill out, talk with some friends uh, in a call or whatever. Uh, and just hang out or even just in a uh, party and on the server you can just type with them every now and then uh, while pvping and you know just have some fun anyways guys i hope this video does help you out with your first prestige if it did please like the video it helps me out a lot and helps promote the video for more of y'all to be able to see it and uh subscribe if you haven't already to see more videos here on my channel anyways guys uh, thanks for watching peace